This is a shaving horse and it's a tool that is used to hold wood, usually green wood, while shaping with draw knives and spoke shaves. This is a very old tool used largely by green woodworkers, people who are working on chair parts, rake makers, things of that sort. Very handy, very fast and efficient way to work green wood. It's also a real pleasure to use and a whole lot of fun. Last week over on the Black Bear Forge channel, I did a series of videos making this pizza cutter. And the handle is made from a piece of green wood that I cut from an apple tree that's out in the yard. And to shape the handle, I did most of that right here on the shaving horse. People complimented me on the shaving horse that I had made, except that I didn't actually make this. So I thought I would give a little video, talk about this shaving horse, let you know who did make it, let you know how you can get a hold of him. And if you're interested in the pizza cutter videos, I will link to that right up here in this corner. And I'll try to get all three videos linked before this video is all done. Now, the simplest way to describe a shaving horse is simply as a foot operated vice. It's got this head on it as the top jaw of the vise, and it's referred to as a dumb head quite often. And when you step on the foot pedal, that pulls, that clamps that down, and it clamps with a lot of force. And as you pull on it with the draw knife, you're actually pulling it so it wants to close tighter, as opposed to pushing it back open again. And when you let go with your foot, Gravity just opens it naturally for you. You can take the piece out, turn it around, and go back to work with it. On this shaving horse, the head is actually adjustable. It's got some steel pins and a steel rod that goes through here, and that, that's what this hangs on. And just by moving it forward, you can drop it down another notch, and it's got several adjustment points. So you can adjust it based on how thick a material you're working on. The clamp head actually has a pivoting bar, it's flat on the bottom, and that way it always seeks the, the proper orientation on the wood you're working with, and that's really handy. The head itself is wedged in place, there's no glue or anything holding this on. If you need to take it off for some reason, it'd be easy to take off, make repairs, or swap it out for something that's custom fit to whatever you're working on. The entire head assembly with the treadle and everything else is all held on, with a wedge so that you can knock that wedge out you can take all this off of here that way it's easier to transport easier to store if you need to collapse it to store it and that really makes it pretty nice and i've also thought that that might be good to to make a different style of head that's more suited for specifically spoon carving although i haven't really thought about that design much but i think because the shaving horse is kind of modular it would be easy to do something custom and if I ever get around to that, we will discuss that here on the channel. This is three-legged. It's just got one leg in the front and two legs in the back. That means it always sits stable, whether the floor is perfectly flat and level or if you're using it outside or in an old barn or whatever, it's always going to sit good and solid. The seat itself just sits in the, the slot here. It's got a pin and it's got some sandpaper to give it some traction. That way you can adjust the seat for where you need it. And when you sit on it, the sandpaper kind of digs in and it doesn't move much. But if it does, it's easy to slide forward and back. And this shaving horse was made by Mr. Mark Hicks from Plate 11 Designs or Plate 11 Workbenches. And I followed him for years on Instagram and I had seen his prototypes of this bench. Then several years ago, we were set up pretty much across the aisle from him at Woodworking in America. And I got a chance to see one of his earliest versions of this shaving horse, try it out, talk to him about it. And he was more than happy to take my order right there on the spot. So I gave him a deposit, waited a few months, and he shipped the shaving horse out. Some assembly required, but it's not too difficult, pretty straightforward, and it has been an outstanding tool ever since. Yes, I've made a shaving horse before. It didn't work anywhere near this well. And for me, paying somebody to do what they do better than I do just frees me up to do the things that I do better or do the things that I want to learn how to do. And while building a shaving horse is fun, having one that works properly was more important to me at the time. So I'm really glad I met Mark, really glad I got to buy this shaving horse. As far as I can tell, he is still making them. I think he's made some improvements on them. I think the head adjustment is a little bit different now than it was when he made this one. So things are always getting better. And if you're looking for a pre-made shaving horse of excellent quality, 
I think you should check Mark out and he's got a website. So let's take a quick look at Mark's website and you can see a little bit about these shaving horses but I'll also make sure that I put a link down there in the video description so you can go look for yourself. Okay so this is Mark's website it's plate11.com like I say he's a workbench maker if you're looking for an excellent workbench I'm sure they are wonderful but I don't own one of those He has a tab here for shaving horses. And here then is the, the shaving horse, very much like I have, although I can already see some differences. Looks like this knob here makes the pivot rod a little bit easier to pull out. Pretty subtle difference, but might be handy. And he has descriptions of what he goes through. And you'll need to go look at this yourself. I'm not going to read a website to you. But apparently you can not only order one, but you can buy a kit. He's got the pinhead and the plans. So you'll need to supply your own lumber, but it's got the hardware part, which is probably the hard thing to find for his design of a shaving horse. It looks like he also offers classes on building shaving horses. In Ozark, Missouri. So that might be a, a fun time if you're looking for a woodworking class to take. But he also sells the shaving horses. And you can just buy one outright. He probably has to make it. I don't think he stocks them. So here's a little request form where you can, can fill that out to, to get a price and a quote for him. I have no idea what he's charging for these now. But I can pretty well guarantee you they aren't going to be cheap. They're a quality tool and you get what you pay for. You can also go over to Mark on Instagram, and I'll link to that in the description as well, and you can see a lot of the pictures of the things that he's been working on. And just a pretty good guy to follow if you're into Instagram stuff. So that's just a quick look at Mark's website so you get an idea of what he offers for shaving horses. If you're one of the people who is really curious about the shaving horse, that's most of the information I have available. Get a hold of Mark, you can find out more. Like I say, he's a good guy to work with, does excellent work, and you get an excellent shaving horse. Or you can buy the plans and build one yourself. But that's all I've got for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you later.